Hello, hello, hello. Wow, I feel like I have not done an empties video for wax in a really, really long time. And when I looked back to check to see the last time I did one, it was in like the second week of December. I think they were like my empties from the first through the 11th. So, and I know in that video, I said that I was going to try to do them weekly, but with the holidays and everything, it seriously just snuck up on me. And then I had house guests um, from out of state from like December 21st until the 4th of January, which was yesterday. So crazy. Um, the kids being home from school. Then more guests came and stayed from California for a couple nights. <clears throat> so we were just crazy with company and Christmas and New Year's and everything. And that was just more important um, than filming a wax video. Um, so I just, let's just get through this. Um, along with these empties, I have been melting things that were in bigger quantities, bigger like BAM bags and the big Mama Jamma bars from Sensi and stuff like that. So those I won't show. They'll eventually be empty. Um, and shockingly, I have no candles. I say that joking because I just never seem to get through them. We were gone, you know, out during the day and at night and stuff when we had company. We went out and did things. So I didn't even finish any candles. But the one that I'm burning right now is one from Goose Creek. And it is Frozen in Time. Um, just a nice winter scent. This was, um, candle was given to me last Christmas, 2018. Um, by a co-worker and I am bound and determined I'm not putting it away again so even if I'm still burning it in March I'm gonna finish it Um, it's doing okay there's a little like sooting but I think that's for me like tilting it to actually light the candle so that's it and this is just a nice little candle holder I think clearance last year maybe from Bath and Body Works all right so I will start with the bags because I don't have that many of those so the first one I have is from Rose Girls and it has Biolage Zen, which I absolutely love. I'm a huge fan of Biolage. Um, I love that shampoo scent in wax and then mixed with her Zen was just a beautiful, fresh spa like scent. And I just, I love it. I love it. It's a nice break from all the Christmassy types of scents and blends. I also finished up a mini melter bag in Absolute Coffee from Rose Girls, which is just freshly brewed coffee. I'm sad that I don't have any more of this because I think that this is definitely one of my most favorite um, coffee blends, coffee scents, I should say, and that is finished up. Um, I did a, is it a mini muffin, a muffin chunk, chunk muffin, yes, from Rose Girls in Blackberry Zen. Again, her Zen, which is just a beautiful, clean spa scent mixed with a oh, delicious blackberry. And I enjoyed this one very much. Also, um, melted this upstairs in um, bedrooms mostly. Another chunk muffin from Rose Girls was clothes on the line. Just your laundry scent. Very, very strong with a tiny little bit of sweetness I found in this one. But if you are a fan of laundry, mm, clean laundry, I would definitely check this one out. Clothes on the line. Um, from Savannah Blue, I melted lavender mist, which was lavender, sage, chamomile, rosemary, and cedar. I wish that the cedar had come out more in this blend. Um, it was nice. On cold, it almost had that like Vicks Vapor Rub type of scent to it. But warming it, it wasn't a powerhouse by any means. So it was just a nice, subtle um, blend. And it was enjoyed. I'll move on to some scent shot cups. I think I have a variety of vendors. I might... They might all be from K. I'm not sure. The first one is Marshmallow Fireside, which I know everybody is very familiar with. Just that smoky marshmallow um, scent. Really, really love that. This I could really melt all year round. Strong. Um, I know that when I was melting that when I had people here, 
they did comment on how like nice it like what a different type of scent it was and how nice it was i also melted elderflower from k which you guys know how i feel about this absolutely hands down one of my most favorite favorite scents this i um melted in my bedroom and i just i love it it lasts so long it's strong it's just such a beautiful scent um Fraser fur from k your typical christmas tree scent really strong powerful realistic loved it like i've said before i tend to melt um tree scents uh, during the Christmas season in my front room because that is where my Christmas tree was. Um, that bad boy finally came down today um, because I have an artificial tree and it's just, it just adds a nice little illusion of a real tree. Wild Peach Poppies from Kay. This surprised me. This was so yummy. Not at all. Um, I know peach can come sometimes transfer as like a cat pee type of scent. This did not. This was just a fresh, rich, like strong peach scent. And poppies are a flower. So the, it, the fruit mixing in with the floral didn't give it an overpowering floral scent, but more like it just really complemented it. And I really enjoyed that. And this was a surprise to me. And this would definitely be something I would pick up again. From Pink Mermaid Wax Melt, I melted Clean and Sexy. This I melted in my son's bedroom. This was a nice uh clean scent like it says clean and sexy um not as masculine as i thought that it was going to be which is why i put it in his bedroom thinking it was going to be like a very masculine scent but it was more on um the clean scent which was nice another one from k is pine cones this was really enjoyable as well um, a little bit of like a soapy note to the pine cones, but in a nice way, a very nice, again, melted this in the room that had the Christmas tree and really enjoyed that. Um, yeah, it looks like it was pretty much it's all okay. Tis the season, which I don't have scent notes on. But this reminded me of, I know this is going to sound weird and I don't, I wish I had the scent notes. This reminded me of like an outdoors type of like um, pine needle scent and eggnog. I know that that sounds really weird, but it smelled really, really good. And this was a one ounce. So this whole thing was in a warmer. And again, very enjoyable. Can't complain about that. Howl at the Moon. This one I do not remember. I'm smelling it on, I'm smelling the container and I'm getting like a, like an outdoorsy with a tad bit of like fruit in there. I don't know if it has like a citrus note in there as well, but this was good. I can remember nothing. Sometimes if something's like really bad, I'll put an X on the bottom of it. Um, and of course, I meant to film this a lot sooner than I am. This is Balsam and Cedar, also from Kay. Fantastic, wonderful Christmas tree. Just gives you those holiday vibes. Really, really wonderful. Loved, 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 loved it. I'm going to miss um, tree scents, but I may still melt a few this month. I thought I would be sick of it, and I'm, I'm really not. Um, from a crafty barista. This was Golden Clove. And Golden Clove is... I don't know. Hmm. No scent description. But definitely Clove. Yes. And I don't really get anything else. And I think that this was like in the earlier part of December. So it's not really standing out. Alpine Cheer from K. This was good too, but I don't remember it. Um, I don't remember this. Like a fruity, fruity, 
like fresh air type of scent. Not perfumey or anything like that, but this was good. Another one from Pink Mermaid is Lullaby. Oh, you guys, I kept pulling this to melt it and I would put it back because it straight up smells like vomit on cold. Oh, however, warming it, thankfully, that's not the scent that it gave off. It was like a nice lavender, very like subtle, really low key type of fragrance. Um, I've only purchased once from once from Pink Mermaid and I don't know. I never really think I never really look at their website or think to order. I just like I haven't had horrible luck melt wise with theirs, but it's I there's not enough standouts for me to want to order. Um, Blue Spruce from K. Again, tree deliciousness. Obviously, all these different tree scents are different. Um, but they work very well in that front room um, during the holidays. And then Christmas Splendor from K. This was also a nice, strong scent. Definitely tree vibes in here as well with um, maybe some type of like holly berry or something mixed in here. But definitely enjoyed that as well. That is all for the scent shot cups. Moving on to clams. I have a couple from um, the bathing garden. The first one is the mint garden. Oh God, did I love this. This was so wonderfully relaxing, minty, delicious goodness. Like nothing like artificial. Just a really, really, really enjoyable scent. I think I started out melting this in my classroom and then when we came home for break, I brought it home and finished it. Same with um, Mad Hatter's Tea Party. Oh, I love this one as well. Just a delicious crisp tea scent. Just so relaxing, um, which is really how I find most of the bathing garden scents to be. They're just like very calming and relaxing scents that just like make you feel good. Um, I only have one, which I'm like really shocked from Walmart. This is Sensational's Mistletoe Kisses. It says Merry Christmas, dear. Um, I think I liked this a lot more last year. Um, it's just a very artificial cranberry and greenery type of blend to me. And I just do not, it doesn't have the appeal that it did last year. Um, but Sensational describes it as a soothing fragrance. Wait a minute. Mistletoe Kisses scent is a captivating fragrance blending fresh black balsam and a fruity mix of iced cranberries, red currant, juniper berry, and ripened raspberry. Accented by a mix of frosted apple on top and a base of vanilla bean and winter spruce. No, I just really got fake cranberry maybe mixed in with like um, cran like a candied raspberry but even the raspberry isn't a very like inviting type of scent so I probably still have some more of these and I will finish them just not as excited to melt them as I remember being last year for those and one from Better Homes and Gardens which was bergamot and sage and this was really nice. This was a fantastic melt for, I did so much cooking. Well, not just me personally. There was so much cooking going on in my kitchen over the break and like heavier meals. Um, and this was just a very, this was so welcomed to uh, be able to melt this and get all those food smells out of my kitchen. I really, really love this. I'm really um, enjoying the Better Homes and Gardens um, aromatherapy. Um, I know that I was buying it for a while and then I just kind of like swayed in another direction from it. And um, yeah, there's tons that I haven't tried and then there are plenty that will be repurchases for me for sure. And I think the rest of what I have left is all um, Scentsy. Um, I know I've mentioned it before. I am a Scentsy consultant. I will leave my website linked below. If you have any questions or if you would like to place an order, you can go right to that website and order. 
all the delicious smelling things. So this is, um, this was a scent of the month. I don't know what month. It was quite a while back, maybe like May or June. I'm not sure. I bought it like well after it was a scent of the month. And this was in Poppy Field. And this really surprised me because I thought I was going to be bombarded with a very like powerful um, floral. And it's not. It is such a pretty, feminine, almost sexy um, scent. And I really have enjoyed melting this in my bedroom. Um, yeah, so super good with that one. Um, another one. Well, these are all scentsy. I'm not going to keep saying that. Oops, now I'm dropping things. This is Evergreen and Grapefruit. And I loved this so much. I'm a huge fan of spiced grapefruit from Scentsy, which you can't currently get. Um, so I was hoping that with the grapefruit in here, mixed with the evergreen, and this was nice. Definitely in the same family as the spiced grapefruit, but different. A more Christmassy grapefruit. And I thoroughly enjoyed this one as well. Again, I'm melted this in my front room by the tree, but I also had it going like in my kitchen and living room as well. Cozy Cranberry. Yum, yum. Really enjoyed this. A nice, authentic, tart cranberry. Just like warm and yummy. Loved that. Oh my goodness. There they go. Can never just have like a neat pile of wax empties. Gingerbread donut. I loved this one. This was so good. Mm, how a kitchen should smell around the holidays. <laughs> I didn't do too much um, Christmas cookie baking. I didn't do too much baking this year. I did a little bit with my youngest because he, we like to make um, some homemade cookies for Santa Claus. So we were doing that on Christmas Eve. <laughs> but we didn't make gingerbread houses or we just ran out of time this year i swear it just all went too fast all right um now in zen just a soft relaxing bedroom or like nighttime scent is what i found it to work for Kind of wishing that I had hung on to this to melt um, when I go back to school on Monday because I'm sure the kids are still going to be quite riled up from the holidays. It would be nice to have something a little bit more calming. Um, an absolute favorite of mine is Pink Cotton. I love this and I wasn't totally sure how I was going to feel about it. Um, but Pink Cotton is... A blend of clean cotton swirled with fruity pink berries and vanilla sugar. It is just such a pretty, soft, ugh, not like an in-your-face um, scent, but it can, it's also strong, if that, makes, if that makes any sense. Like, you can definitely smell this everywhere that you put it, but it's not like... A nauseating, I need to shut my warmers off type of scents. Um, apple butter frosting, which has been a favorite of mine from Scentsy for many years. I just love it. I don't like it on cold. Um, I feel that this definitely does not do it justice. And I think it stops people from buying it when they smell a sample maybe of it. Because it gives off a very artificial cinnamon type of almost plastic smell. But melting this, it is like mouth-watering, uh, fill your house with deliciousness type of a scent. And I just really, really enjoy it. This is something that um, I will continue to buy like in the winter. Um, blood Orange Spice. Oh my God, did I love this. I loved, loved, loved this so much. This, again, also reminded me um, in some ways of the spice grapefruit from Scentsy as well. Oh, I just loved this. That spiciness with the citrus from the blood orange. Just a fantastic, fantastic combination. And I really love it. And 
wishing that I had more of it, but trying to just, you know, use what I have, not shop. Um, and lastly, from Sensi, which, oh my God, I seriously, I'm so late to the game on this. I really sat on this one. So many Sensi friends um, and fellow consultants talked and talked and talked about this scent, and I don't know what stopped me. I think, I don't know from getting it, but I finally jumped on and ordered some. And again, I'm not crazy about it on cold. I really am not. It does nothing for me. I just kind of think, eh, kind of generic. But melting this, which I should tell you what it is, it's winterberry apple tea. This is magnificent, really. Um, fantastic, fabulous, delicious. I love this. It is so good. Um, I had this going. I went through two um, two bars of it and a couple weeks apart from each other. The first time I melted it, I really got more of that like apple tea, warm, snuggly, cozy scent um, that kind of wanted me to make myself a cup of tea and sit down and have it. The second time... I melted it was after cooking um, so it was a couple hours after dinner and I put this on in all of my downstairs warmers and it smelled like an apple pie an apple pie baking like like in the oven like it was still actually in the oven that I had been outside because we were sitting outside by the fire and when I came back in I thought like, oh, did somebody bring dessert and pop it in the oven? It was that, it just really came across as a apple pie to me and it was wonderful. So I definitely wanna get more of this winterberry um, apple tea for sure. But that is everything. So I'm calling this like December slash January um, empties just because couldn't get my act together and just too much going on and everything like that to be able to really like focus on doing an empties but I obviously still was melting wax probably not in the capacity that I would have been if it was just my family at home having guests it just wasn't on my radar to change them out and then being gone for hours at a time I don't know stuff wasn't getting changed out as much but I still feel like I made a pretty good dent in um, my wax and got through a lot and I just hope that everybody had a wonderful wonderful Christmas and um, a very happy and healthy new year and I'll see you guys in the next one bye bye